Hello guys, Wolf is again in my workshop. Wolf, 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 Wolf. 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 Yeah. I smell everything. Wolf. <laughs> Alright now, we're going to go outside and play. And here we are with Buddy. Yes, yes, yes. As you can see, the tailor condition is on. Let me see if I can find the spot. <laughs> what a dog. Paddy. Paddy. Whining, buddy. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> let's proceed without body so guys let's see where we are the hull is completely covered uh, of course the part that should be covered with uh, the walnut strips of course, everything needs varnishing. Uh, it's sanded down. It's very, very smooth. I have to do... This is glue. You see here. This is sanded, but this is glue. Because some of the strips weren't glue. After sanding, they were lifting up. Uh, so, the headed part of the second plugging is finished. And now we have to put on this uh, rubbing strakes we have here walnut eight of them they are two by four but before proceeding let me show you a couple of things because this was a little bit uh, problem a big, it was a small problem but nothing that you cannot solve uh, I'm going to flip the page. Okay. Here you can see we have one rubbing strake over here, another over here, and two over here. Between the two and the middle one, it says here that we have one centimeter. Uh, nothing between the first and the second. We have a gap. How much is the gap? Nobody knows. In the instructions, there's nothing that I can use so I can find out what the gap is. Uh, you can see here that we have a small gap of 2 millimeters. This gap is a little bit bigger. These are 4. This is smaller than the 4 but bigger than the 2. So definitely it's 3 but there's another way to calculate. If you take a ruler and you measure 
this strip in the picture it's two millimeters this gap in the picture is one and a half I know in fact that these are four so definitely the one and a half is three so the gap between the first rubbing strike and the second one is three millimeters now that we have established that little detail uh, let me get my materials get myself the tripod heat up the soldering iron and we will begin to put on the rubbing strikes all right now the first one is of course on the level of the second plugging this one goes over here so we start from this point as you can see this needs a small bending so over here I'm going to do some bending and let's calculate where to bend at the bow we will begin over here lost it doesn't matter now that I have it Let's make this smaller. Let me bend it. The procedure is exactly the same. I'll get back to you. All right. Now let's glue. As you can see, it's slightly bended over here. Very little.
Nope. Let me show you something. The good strips that we have here are in two different colors. Uh, doesn't make any difference. The African walnut, but this one is darker than this one. So I have counted down what I have, and I have six dark ones and six. Uh, let's say less dark these are the less dark these are the darker ones so I'm going to use the darker ones three on each side and one of the less dark on each side because the rubbing strikes have come single, single, double I'm going to use dark the next will be less dark and the two below will be the darker so I have a, an even coloring now before using this one we have to make sure that we will have three millimeters gap so let's take some measurements in a few spots for the three millimeters that's one two three over here So, I have some markings, uh, I know where the 3mm th are, all I have to do is follow this and all the way to the stern. Uh, where's my piece? Alright, now we will begin at the bow. Let me make the curve and I'll get back to you. Buddy is sleeping in Wolf's bed and also he's snoring. Let's continue.
let me bend this and I'll get back to you. All right, let's glue. But now we begin from the bow. Now, let me glue the two underneath exactly the same way. Uh, the distance between them is going to be just 10 millimeters, exactly the same way like I did this one that I'm doing right now. It will end up on the rear, in the stern, uh, with the curve. I will do the other side, of course, and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, definitely, I'm going to cut the excess parts at the bottom of the stand and I will get back to you to show on uh, I believe yes we are going to throw on the kill and the stem and we'll finish this video finished both side of both sides of course now before proceeding to the kill I have to place two lines here one here one here and I'm going to place another one here and here, not in the plants, just to cover up uh, some small gaps over here and also the uh, paint that is gone on the deck. Uh, the strips are 2x2, two two, they're walnut, uh, so nothing difficult here, just to place it on and glue it. Let me do that and I'll get back to you to proceed to the kill. Alright now, I have placed one piece here 
one piece here and one here one here and now it's time to place kill and stem uh, over here it's going to need some opening open up and as you can see does not fit also I need to open up over here to make the stem fit does not fit at all so this will take some time give me uh, a moment for you some time for me to open it up and I'll get back to you to continue all right uh, the kill and the stem are uh, prefixed and uh, ply made from plywood plywood that it's stained uh, not the right thing to do for me it should have been walnut but okay uh, this requires a different technique a different approach first of all we're going to do the gluing with white glue and probably I'm going to need some cyanoacrylic just to make sure that it will stay there I have opened up everything over here I uh, have the wiring I'm not going to finish the wiring today we'll do that in a different video So, to align it, we have a, a hole over here. This hole must be in uh, around here in the middle of uh, this gap. So, calculate it with your eyes. It's nothing difficult. It's pretty easy. Now this is where we're going to use some cyanocryl glue I need some more. Now I'm going to leave it just a bit to dry and we're going to continue. So give me a moment. Now let's continue. We have these pieces, they are going only with one way. You cannot put them in reverse or another way. Now over here, I'm going to make a small hole. I'm going to use a nail
Now, it's perfect, but uh, as soon as the glue is dry, uh, I'm going to throw on another piece all over here to cover it all the way about here where I'm going to sand it and make it evenly. Uh, I will find a piece, probably walnut, for my uh, own, su own supply. Now, this piece must be cut to a specific size, but before doing that, we have to place this piece first. And here we have to do a lot of work. This must be go over here. So, okay, we end up this video right now and we'll continue this uh, when the glue is dry. And in the next video, we're going to fix the connections over uh, to the kill. So, uh, this is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget the super thanks ability that the YouTube has and don't go just yet because after this one we have a small bonus video. Ha, <laughs> ha,